Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Quick Spin, the Auto Week podcast that gets to the essence of the automobile today. We are talking about the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. You can take a look at this Chrysler Pacifica on our Instagram page right now. That's at Auto Week USA. And hey, while you're out there, why don't you cruise on over to our Facebook page and click that like button. That way you get all the great Auto Week content we deliver daily sent directly to you. We're going to talk a lot about this Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle in just one second. But first, we have to pay the bills. Want to join us and our friends at Road and Track at annual testing events, epic automotive events like the Quail, and for excursions around the world? Join the Track Club by Road and Track. You'll get first dibs on these ultra-exclusive experiences, full access to premium print and digital contents, tons of privileges, perks, and the opportunity to virtually chat with the best auto editors in the world. Hop on in to the Track Club by visiting roadandtrack.com slash autoweek. That's R-O-A-D-A-N-D-T-R-A-C-K dot C-O-M forward slash A-U-T-O-W-E-E-K. And Mr. Raynal, tell me about this 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle. Man, I am excited to hear what you think about this minivan. Welcome to the show. I would love to tell you, uh, but don't look now. You drove the Pacifica, and I'm asking the question. Hold on. Did I get my notes screwed up again? Check your key, check your key phones. Oh, no. Not again. Now I'm just joshing. Yeah, I drove it. The, the truth is out. The truth is here. I was I was uh, having a laugh. No, yeah, I love this thing. So walk me through what you had and, and how much it costs and all that good stuff. I had the 2021 Pacifica Pinnacle all-wheel drive. Mr. Ailey, you had the Maybach GLS, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? I did. I'm not going to say it's as nice as a Maybach, but as far as cars go, it's maybe a half step below a Maybach when it comes to interiors. This is hilariously nice. People say good things about them. Uh, you know, of the gazillion trim levels this thing is offered in, uh, I hear good things about pretty much all of them. I, I mean, one of our former colleagues has already purchased one very, very recently. But uh, talk to me about sort of like, I think it also looks good on the outside too. Did you use it you know for his intention did you load it up with people load it up with stuff what did you do yeah unfortunately i do not have a small army of children but if i did they would be happy and this no just me and my partner cruising around to uh young adults i can't am i young i'm not a young adult anymore i think i'm just an adult right I think you're still a young. Everyone's a young adult compared to me. Well, that makes me feel nice, Mr. Reynolds. No, there's a couple of couple of youngins out cruising around in their empty minivan. But uh, no, if we had, you know, a small soccer team, uh, your average college football roster, they would all fit comfortably. Uh, this is has, has seats for everybody, and you know, hey, quite the looker too. But I think this could be a nice segue for my walk around. That's right. I took a little quick walk around of this bad boy to uh, give you the highlights, the facts, the features, and everything in between. We're going to go to that right now. And we are walking around the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle. And that does mean something. This is actually a 3.6 all-wheel drive. Kind of a, a newer variant for the uh, Pacifica lineup. Pretty exciting. Uh, it's not the hybrid, which is a, you know, good and bad, depending on how you're looking at it. Obviously, Pacifica, the minivan, uh, the, the latest of the legendary Chrysler minivans, and this one is no slouch. It looks, you know, people don't like minivans i personally love minivans it looks good you know for a minivan but more importantly the inside let's talk the inside uh, automatic doors because duh, the inside of this pinnacle edition is hilarious uh leather everywhere seats seven it seats seven and those seven will sit in you know luxury it's got my box style pillows uh leather everywhere quilted leather on the side bolsters and on the pillows hilarious stow and go seating in case you need to haul something which, you know, occasionally with the minivan, you are going to haul some stuff. Uh, big Uconnect screen. So much storage. USB ports everywhere. USB-C ports. The front and standard USB uh, standard USB ports. And heated seats in the middle. Man, this is, you know, hilarious. And obviously the minivan, enough storage in the rear for a grocery trip. A trip to Casco or any of those big box stores, surplus stores. Or, you know to live in this is nicer than my apartment was when i was a younger man chrysler's really knocking it out of the park 3.6 liter v6 couple of hundred horsepower i think 287 thereabouts and this pinnacle sitting on <laughs> big old wheels as well wrapped in falcon rubber yeah, 20 inch wheels 
It's got a lot of curb appeal, a lot of presence. And the Pinnacle Edition actually <laughs> gives you that fun interior. But more importantly, it gives you that, uh, that's, that sense of, you know, you're riding on a cloud of air. Obviously not air suspension, but it is definitely comfortable. Speaking of how comfortable it is, let's hop in and give it a whirl. So... Did it have like the screens for people in the back and all that fancy stuff? Yes, yes. Uh, so a little bit of my story with minivans. My mom had a first generation K minivan. I think it was a caravan, uh, and it did not have much, by the way, of screens and entertainment for the youngins. Uh, that would be a, the me of the day. But this does obviously removed by like 30, 40 years. I don't know what you're in right now, but it screens in the screens in the back of the drivers and front passengers chairs for the entertainment for the kids. Uh, I think this had a DVD player, even though I didn't try it out. I should have because uh, my personal minivan has a DVD player, so I could have benchmarked that. I didn't. But yeah, uh, there's more entertainment. Also, let's, let's be real, Mr. Randall. What kid doesn't have like an iPhone or Android device or tablet or something? And there are plenty of chargers to keep that going for long road trips. And I think this also had internet. But uh, what what car isn't connected these days? Uh, did you drive it? I did, Mr. Reynolds. That is a quick segue. And we're going to go to that right now. Let's see how this puppy drives. And we are inside the Pacifica. And what, again, what an interior it is. As the lyrics were fired up that Pentastar V6. And that's a little DMCA strike. And we are inside the Pacifica, firing up that 3.6 liter V6. That's right, this thing is humming. Big Uconnect screen. You know, what are you gonna do? You need you need a big screen these days. Screens are only getting bigger. Uh, the gauge cluster is an analog gauge cluster. I mean, obviously it's gonna be digital on the back end, but analog dial faces with a center screen that shows you the speedo and other stuff this one has adaptive cruise and about every feature you're going to find on a pacifica <laughs> um nice leather wrapped wheel and there are there are controls obviously for that most of the hvac controls so temp up and down in the cabin and blower motor speed and air conditioning recirc defrost front and rear but if you want to get to the seats and stuff in the front row you gotta go to the uconnect screen uh and right next to the radio control that's on the center stack, HVAC's right above, uh, the radio controls are right above the HVAC, and right next to the dial shift selector, which we're gonna throw into reverse. Um, yeah, the all wheel drive on, and drive pavement, I'm not feeling a big difference, or I haven't felt a big difference when I was out wheeling this earlier. Um, I'm sure in inclement weather, it will give you a huge advantage in terms of traction helping you rip and stick but you know what are you gonna do this is, people will complain about minivans that they aren't cool or they aren't powerful or you know boring they don't want to be caught dead in one uh, I own a minivan so obviously I don't care about any of that stigma what I do care about is you know how much money am I gonna how much comfort and ride am I gonna get for my money and the Pacifica it delivers a lot. This Pinnacle is expensive. Um, it is not a cheap vehicle, but with a name like Pinnacle, a trim line like Pinnacle, you don't expect that. However, just a dollar for fun, if seating seven and a nice luxurious cabin. But in terms of driving dynamics, man, it's going over bumps, even the big wheels. It's got a 50 series tire on it, so it still has a little bit of sidewall. Not a lot, but a little. Road noise doesn't really exist. You do get a little bit of engine noise, you know. It's not gonna wake up the baby, but you get a, a hint of that Pentastar V6 in the cabin when you're under heavy acceleration. If you are looking to haul a family, I don't think it gets much better than this. If there's a young person in your life who's really into cars, give them the gift of R&T Crew, the ultimate subscription box by Road & Track for kids ages 6 to 10. Every other month, a box is delivered to their door and stuffed with cool accessories, fun activities, and a magazine chuck full of facts, stories, games, and more. Sign up now to receive the all-new Around the World box and enter code AUTOWEEK for 10% off the annual box subscription. Just head over to rtcrew.com, that's R-T-C-R-E-W.com, and use code AUTOWEEK. Why do people not like these, and why do they get crossovers and SUVs when they really, this is probably the perfect vehicle for them? 
and they don't know it? Why is that, Mr. Wren? To answer your question, Mr. Randall, I think it has to. We have to go back a, a few years, right? Uh, it has the same problem that wagons had, right? The wagon is the family car, and ipso facto, it is the boring car, and the minivan obviously killed the station wagon and now it's being further killed by the crossover but the 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 minivan you know it's the family car it's the boring car it's what your parents had you know and uh, you and your fleet of siblings were being raised and now that everybody's out of the house like you and you're having kids now you don't want to have the same boring ford windstar that your your folks had so you have to buy a crossover and i think that's just about social stigma right i i don't agree with it i mean crossovers have their place i think they're cool too but when it comes to like just being the most utilitarian and affordable and reasonably reasonably priced this chrysler not so much because it's a hyper luxury version but it's tough to beat a minivan just in, just in terms of what it can do what it can haul and you know how much it is that said i bring you to the question if you can't sell minivans because everyone wants a crossover yet this pacifica is such a great minivan is it a great vehicle period number one and number two what is its reason for existence yeah so to answer your first question i th- i think so right i mean it's we have to talk then about like what makes a good car or a bad car you know what i mean like i i always look at it as what did the manufacturer intend with the car like what was its purpose which is to haul people comfortably and you know be may, maybe it could do better on gas yeah that's why they had the hybrid but i so i think it definitely hits those metrics right i think it's a, it's great at being a minivan it may be you know the it may be the best minivan ever and I, honda's got a great minivan T- toyota's got a great minivan kia's got a great minivan but i think this might be the best minivan ever okay so to the things reason for being the reason for this pacifica yeah that's a definitely a hard-hitting question right because why why on earth would anyone make a minivan they they, they don't sell Right, that's it's 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 hard to move these things. Uh, I think Chrysler might be attached to the minivan just because of its lineage, which it's always had great minivans, and that's kind of one thing that Chrysler's stuck with for so long. But you know, hey, not everybody sticks with everything forever. But its reason, d'etre, it's what makes it special is that it's such a good minivan, right? It's everything that I feel Chrysler's learned from its. 40 years making these things stuffed into one people mover which you know the the name change i didn't like initially but it, it makes sense you know re- rename the the minivan for chrysler and give it a new image and i, I think it's reason to etra it's 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 essence is the perfect people mover right i think this is it when it comes to moving people comfortably and affordably and maybe the pinnacle not so much again this this is the hilarious like top of the heap when it comes to minivans but if you got fifty five grand as delivered with its no options but just loaded, maybe maybe get the pinnacle if you want as uh, to impress your neighbors or your friends or if you have a nice hotel and you want to move people, it's, it's not not an option. Okay, great summary. I hope that answered your questions and I hope that you enjoyed that. But I think that you're pulling the hook on me and ter- tell, tearing me off the stage. Not till I thank you for joining us. Oh, <laughs> glad to be here and I'm glad to drive these things. But hey. If you want to listen to more of these things, more of these cars, that is, and maybe not ones with me speaking, you go to the Apple Podcast Store if you listen to this thing. Listen to more episodes. Listen to the back episodes. Uh, also, hey, while you're there, why don't you drop a five-star review? Let us know what you like, what you want to hear about in the future. And also, we'll give you a shout-out. Don't forget that. And hey, while you're cruising on the internet, why don't you have a Facebook page? Click that like button. That we get all the great auto week content we deliver daily, handed directly to you. And I say this at the end of every episode, and I'm sure you're tired of it, but I can't stress this enough. Without your listenership, none of this would be possible. So thank you for listening.